In this video, we will learn about Dubin-Johnson syndrome, a rare but important condition involving bilirubin metabolism. So this Dubin-Johnson syndrome is mainly caused by a defect in the multi-drug resistance associated protein 2, often call it as MRP2. This protein plays a key role in excreting conjugated bilirubin from hepatocytes into the bile canaliculi. So if this protein is defective, bilirubin gets conjugated, but it cannot be excreted into the bile canaliculi, right? So because of this defect, what will happen? Conjugated bilirubin accumulates in the liver and the bloodstream leading to direct hyperbilirubinemia. So this condition is also inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern, meaning a person needs to inherit the defective gene from both parents to develop the syndrome. So clinically, the condition is characterized by mild to moderate jaundice, which usually appears during adolescence. And the jaundice tends to worsen during certain situations such as with the use of medications, especially oral contraceptives or during pregnancy. So these factors put additional stress on the liver, making the symptoms more pronounced. So despite the jaundice, patients generally feel well and do not have any other symptoms like fatigue or pain. So now the diagnosis of Dubin-Johnson syndrome is mainly based on lab and biopsy findings where blood tests reveal direct hyperbilirubinemia, but liver function tests are typically normal. So a key diagnostic feature is observed on liver biopsy, which shows a dark granular pigmentation in the liver cells. And this pigmentation is due to the accumulation of epinephrine metabolites, giving the liver a characteristic dark appearance, this finding a classical hallmark of Dubin-Johnson syndrome. Right? So now about the treatment part. Treatment is generally not required as this is a benign condition. However, certain precautions should be taken. For example, oral contraceptive should be avoided because they can exacerbate the jaundice. So patients should always be cautious with medications that may stress the liver. So these are all the important points what you need to know about the Dubin-Johnson syndrome.